But, gentlemen, Lee Dixon, Robbie Musto, I want to start by talking about Manchester United, Robbie. He's got problems off the field, <coughs> and now Crikey. he's got problems <clears throat> on the field as well. In some ways, you could say it was not a surprise losing against Brighton because Brighton is so good, but they can't lose at home against Brighton. They're Manchester well, United. Well, that, that, we're Man United. That's, that's a distant past. There was a Manchester United. It's, it's nowhere near what we're seeing right now. Problems off the field often go onto the field. That's what we're seeing now. Players are unavailable, have problems. Um, the ownership situation still no closer to selling the club. Must be an absolute nightmare for Eric Ten Hag to handle right now. Maybe some will say he's not doing a great job in, in these last few weeks, but my goodness, what, what a club in, in, I guess, crisis again. In you, crisis? You, you couldn't pick a worse team to play. Obviously, yeah. the stuff that's gone on this week, you try to focus the players on a Friday and say, look, do your jobs. They're going to go against a very, very equipped Brighton side, full of confidence, who have got no fear of going to Old Trafford anymore. And they, they, they took the game to, to Man United, and I thought they were extremely well. And I think... There's, there, this is going to rumble on because Man United can't play that bad at home and get beat by Brighton and, and then not go and rumble on for the next week or two. Before. Well, because the, there's pressure on him for the decisions he's making off the field, which are fine mm -hmm. if you're getting wins on the field, Robbie. Mm. Yeah, it, it is. And, and listen, before the, the last week or two of, of issues, off the field issues, the team wasn't playing well anyway. We yeah. saw them at Old Trafford. They struggled. There was a little bit better in the last game, of course, when they tried to, uh, to grind out a little bit. But uh, yeah, things are going... I, I think Lee makes a great point. Brighton is so good. Yeah. That's the last team you want to be chasing around because they kind of embarrass you with their good football. Yeah. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.